Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to my video on the Poco X3 Pro. Now, you guys know Poco does a really good job at bringing in high-end specs into lower price devices. And there's no exception here with the X3 Pro, which I have in my hand in this nice blue color. Uh, this is rumored to be priced at $320, but I'll give you the exact pricing pinned in the comments below uh, because this was recorded before the press event. Now, this device is really cool. I do like what it brings to the table. Uh, packaging wise, Poco is very clean and simple. Uh, you've got a case in there and you've also got a 33 watt charger and you've got fast charging built into this device. So that's actually very nice and really cool. The other thing also is when you look at this device overall, you're getting a lot of features that yeah, honestly, you shouldn't be getting at this price point. So you start off with uh, its battery. 5,160 milliamp battery. Uh, this is not a 5G device, so you should expect this to last you more than a day, well into the next day uh, with this device. So that's actually very nice. Uh, then it also comes with the Snapdragon 860 processor. Now, I have no stats on this processor because I've tried to use benchmark tools. I've tried to use tools like 3D Mark, which just doesn't work with it at all. I try to use Geek Benchmark, it runs and it just stops. So they're not letting me do any benchmark tools yet. So hopefully once this fully launches, I can run some benchmarks for you and give you an idea what the performance is. But it's a seven nanometer chip, uh, so you can expect it to perform a certain way. Uh, and we'll get to some gaming in a second here. Display though is nice, 120 hertz display, 240 touch sensing, which is pretty cool, uh, great for that gaming experience, but it's also got stereo speakers. And honestly, let us go ahead and take a quick listen. Honestly, that's, that was impressive. That is really nice to have from a device like this. Uh, coupled with the fact it's got a headphone jack, so you've got a nice audio experience. You're not just, you know, uh, getting something that is a cheap hand-me-down in a sense. Now, you know, it comes in this nice blue color, says Polka at the back. It's got a 48 megapixel sensor. It's got a array of camera sensors at the back as well, uh, which is cool. Uh, and the camera does take some nice, uh, interesting photos. Uh, they do do well for its price point. Honestly, I like the photos in daytime. Yes, there's some parts where it was overblown, but uh, you can live with that. It's also got a 20 megapixel front facing camera, which does a decent job, but as you can see, it whitens my skin quite a bit, but I'm not gonna be too harsh on it because honestly, again, its price point, it's pretty solid overall. Okay, so speaking of gaming, looking at a couple of the games on here, Call of Duty Mobile, yes, which runs really well on a lot of devices, also performs well on the Poco X3 Pro. The ability to run around, ooh, take out people, it does really well. Uh, honestly, it's really smooth. That 120 hertz, 240 touch sampling, is a nice way to actually use a budget uh, device like this. Plus the audio, which I'm not cranking up, is also really good. We heard the speakers, so that's pretty solid as well. Now, what about gaming performance, pushing to that high end? That's where, of course, games like Genshin Impact come into play. Now with Genshin Impact, I am playing this game at its highest setting here. So you guys can see that it is at 60 FPS. And what do we get in terms of performance? Now, as I mentioned, benchmarks, I'm actually running directly off the device itself using Game Studio. It's giving me about 50 frames per second. I'm about to get into some combat. There is some choppiness, uh, but you can game Genshin around 50 FPS or so with this. It runs fairly well. And of course, you're gonna get some temperature rises. I think I moved myself to the wrong side of the map with this game. I'm stuck somewhere far away. Take him out, take him out. But yeah, you do get some really good performance overall for what you have here. Uh, I was expecting it to be worse, but it does a, does a good job. Now, in terms of immediate temperatures while playing, it heats up a little bit. And we're looking at like 108 degrees or so, roughly for this. 100, 708, which is about 42 degrees 
Celsius. So that's what you're getting in terms of temperatures for this. But performance-wise, you can play this quite well. Now, some of you probably be asking, what about PUBG? And just to kind of finish that up, PUBG is one where I'm not going to necessarily show you gameplay, but I'll show you some of the settings. You do have access to your full set of settings for PUBG Mobile. And I will tell you that in each of those, it runs as, as to be expected. So if you're playing PUBG and you're playing uh, at Ultra HD Ultra, Ultra, you're going to be getting about uh, 30, 37 frames per second, which is fine. Uh, and if you're playing PUBG at uh, Smooth Extreme, you're going to be getting closer to, so Ultra HD Ultra is right here. You've had, I have access to that. And you can play at Smooth Extreme as well. So you have access to all the settings you expect in, in PUBG Mobile. So I think overall, when you look at a device like this, the Poco X3 Pro, you're gonna get a lot of value in this device. Now, I, I think there are a lot of people who look at this and say, yes, this is a great buy. Uh, it covers all the things I want to, it's got all the features I need, uh, and it's got the performance that I needed to do. So if you guys wanna see more about the Poco X3 Pro, let me know. I'll do some more gaming on the gaming channel, Board Gamer, so do go ahead and check that out. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy entertainment.